There's no cops in the ghetto. They don't pull people over for fucking... They don't pull white people over. Diamondz4.com. Check that shit out. Beer brats. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Never had that. No. You're supposed to put onions in there with it, but I don't like onions, so we're not going to put onions in there. Just put green pepper in there. Give it a little bit of flavor. Of course, you do not drink the beer. Right. You tell me whenever you're recording. It's recording. When a bitch doesn't know that you're going to bang her because you're acting interested in her, then that's when you have the upper hand. So far, your friend is going to imagine, because we already play that role of, of well, I'm horny. Well, what do you want to do? You know, asking her what she wants to do. Still being on. But at the same time, whenever you let her know this shit, it's, it could be a miss or a fucking target. Boom, you got it. But the way that she was acting after, oh my god, call me. So we played the waiting game because she made you wait nine minutes before she texted you back. Right? Right. So I told you to make her wait how long? Nine minutes. Nine minutes back, bitch. So, okay, so far she's lost all fucking control of everything. First of all, she wanted to play the word game with you over text. The word game of, ooh, I can control this guy. And then after she lost that, she decided to play the waiting game. The waiting game is something that a bitch will always play. There's a way around the waiting game. Don't There's play. No, you can play. This is how you got to play. Oh, okay. So, we took away her power of words. We took away her power of waiting because we showed her real fuck. We'll wait nine minutes before we call her. Fuck that fat bitch. No. Okay. So whenever you call her back, so now she, she you call her, and now she's trying to play that whole, oh my God, now you know my mom and she's sick, and and no one can watch my kids, and and but don't don't think I don't want to hang out. You know what I would have done? I probably would have said, no, that's fine. I'm actually going out with Strickland tonight because his girlfriend's got like three girls that she's bringing along. And they're all drop dead hot, like dime pieces, I guess you would call them. So, after Andrew got off the phone with her, and she said all that stuff, and I told Andrew to just say, Oh, so do you want me to just come over and get some real quick, and we can hang out on another day? Apparently she said, Okay, bye, like that, and hung up. Well, so I wrote her this. I said, So your mom's sick and can't watch your kids, huh? Dot, dot, dot. That sucks. I hope she gets better. Yeah, and then when she sits there and says all this shit, you know, but, oh my god, you really like me? Look, come on, you, you, li you like me? I eat donuts. No. Okay. Uh, when he watch this, he doesn't like you. He just wants the pussy. So he calls on me to help him get the pussy. And I can do this for him. Because it's very easy <laughs> to tell you stupid bitches that what's going to happen is going to happen. You don't even know what's going to happen because it's already been planned out way before you even thought about getting changed in the second pair of wardrobe. You decided to fucking delay the time you're supposed to come and hang out because I'm sitting at the bar talking to another girl who's actually on her way out the bar because you got to pick your girls leaving the bar so you can just get their number not have to worry about them bumping into you or you bumping into the girl I just got done talking to and that's how the game is done see now she thinks she's got the power because she said bye and hung up sort of kind of leading everything on and not really saying what she thought so now that she's sitting there thinking she's got the power she's going to be delaying like crazy. It'll probably be an hour before she fucking texts. And whenever that fucking text comes, that's what we do. See the battery? This is what we did. We go, Whoop! And we don't call her. And we don't talk to her. Until the night. 
whenever you got girls in the car with you in the background. And that's when you say, oh, I'm sorry, did you call? I've been busy. Hey, anyway, sweetie, I just wanted to call you and just say, I saw that you called. I gotta go. I got plans. I gotta take care of some girls. They drank too much. They're sick. Boom! 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 They're sick. That's how you gotta do it. Okay, don't believe me. That's it. Fucker. That's a fuck you phrase. Okay, don't believe me. Let's see if I care. She's gonna text back or she won't. Mm hmm. I don't mind. Best she does. Maybe not soon. If she texts back soon, that means she cares for you. Because I hit a nerve with, I would like to hang out with you anyway. And she likes you. But if she doesn't text back, I mean, she's either being too self conscious and being like, no, you've got to be lying to me. And if she doesn't believe you yet, I promise you, by the end of our conversation with this bitch, I'll have her fucking fall in love with you. Like, she'll want to probably marry you, dude. I've done that to every girl I fucking dated. I've gotten them to marry me. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. I do care. She said I do. Okay, so this is what you write back. Well, if you care so much, why take so long to text me back? Now we're going to get her attention. Now we're going to point out her flaw, make her seem like the bad person. She's like, oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm so busy right now with... And then she'll wait to text it, and then she'll be like, my son, or my daughter, or my mom sick, or I got homework. Or I got to go to school. Or I... Does she even go to school? No. Sorry, she can't use homework. She's fucked. Cleaning the house. Cleaning the house. I'm sorry, I'm busy cleaning. Well, let's see. What would she say? I'm busy. I hate when girls are so stupid they can't fucking spell or use grammar. I busy, so it would be easier if you called, but if you don't mind me text slow, then we can. Go with the texting. Of course. Let me correct her fucking stupid ass Alabama fucking retarded pig bang a pig language. I be I busy? I am busy, so it'd be easier if you could call. That's not what she said. She said I'd be I busy so it would be easier if you call, but if you don't mind me text slow, then you can. Okay. So, so me, what's me, the game? Did she misspell uh, that on purpose? She, no, she's fucking just stupid. Whenever you make a girl finally say that she's sorry for something that she did wrong is the best time to take advantage of to get her to admit the truth on what she was lying about because she already feels bad. And the thing you have to let her know is... You gotta let her know. It's okay if, if you did play that game and lied or whatever. I don't care, but just let me know. And everything will be okay, baby. And she'll say, I was hoping I really could see you. Okay, you're not answering me. It's cool. And I'm not mad at all, nor would I be. Dot, dot, dot. But why did you say you could when you knew you couldn't see me? See, now she's feeling even worse. Because now she knows she's in a lie. She thinks she can get out of it. Like all women think they can get out by saying something fucking different than the truth. All women are the exact same fucking thing. They all are a bunch of lying little fucking sluts who will never answer your question when you ask it. I can ask fucking three questions in a row. One question gets answered, the other two get blown up. Then you say, you only answered one of my questions. They say, no, -uh, I answered all of them. I'm like, okay, so what's the answer to all of them? I already told you. All right, you stupid fucking slut. If you already fucking told me, what the fuck am I doing asking you again? Are you retarded? Are you fragile? Are you Forrest Gump? Are you Jenny? Lieutenant Dan has no respect for you. Answer the fucking questions. Fuck. I just want to smack a hoe. And what we don't talk about. Another thing is, if you have a girlfriend, this doesn't go for me, but if you have a girlfriend, and you want to go meet another girl, first of all, you got to know where your girlfriend goes. 
a part of town she goes to, and you know where she never goes. For instance, let's use me as an example right now because I can do this. I know that my girl stays up around, you know, one spot. She stays up in one spot. I could go downtown and go there, but that's still too risky. So, like Perdido Beach, if I decided to grab a girlfriend that lives out Perdido Beach, not let that girl know where I live, not let that girl know anything but my phone number. Well, then Perdido Beach is far away. It's 45 minute drive, you know, at least. So you can have them going on. What time is it? Is it too early to drink? I don't really care. <laughs> All the girls, I just go in there and rob the place of the girls. Like, all right, girls, come with the Strickland. We need to leave. There's trouble here amongst us. A bunch of wiggers that are this tall and that skinny shove too much white shit up here and think they're Superman. We need to get out of here before someone gets hurt, and it's not going to be me. I see, I see my ex come out of the corner of my eye. I'm just like, God damn it. There's nothing I can do now. Like, she's now picking me out of the crowd. Now, the whole bar that it was packed, she comes up. She steps forward, completely fucking flicks me off like that sideways. Can't do it like a white girl. Can't do it like this. Can't get up and say something. Can't do anything. Has to be immature. Does one of these. Like that. What the fuck is that? What's... That doesn't make sense. She's been hanging out with wiggers too much. Yeah, I know. I know. It's fucking disgusting. It's it's really disgusting. Fuck them, dude. I mean, their shoes? Come on. Their mommy bought it for them, probably. Or they sold a dime bag of pot or something. To pick, pick up some extra cash. I don't fucking know. I'll just... I just fucking, I let it go, you know. She walks away and does her little thing. So I'm walking around the bar, got girls all over my arms and shit, you know. I'm like, this is not helping out the situation at all. I've got random girls grabbing my hands, random fucking girls grabbing my, my arms and shit. I'm just like, oh man, this is not a good sign. We need to get out of here. And, and then one girl left her phone. So I had to carry her in there to get her phone. She left at the bar, and I'm at the fucking bar getting her phone with her. There's a big crowd of people, and I'm just walking through the crowd, like, just move out of the way, please. We gotta go, we gotta go. She got her phone, everything was good, and then out of the corner of my eyes, I turn around while this other girl's hand is in my hand. While I'm out the door, I see my ex right there, and she is within four feet of me, and I'm just like, son of a bitch, I almost made it out without hearing another fucking word of me, me, me. <laughs> my bung 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 hurts. You know, and I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to see her. So I make it outside, and all I hear her say is, Hey, Derek! Like that. And I can tell it's her voice because it's so fucking annoying. It drove me crazy. I went over to this girl's house. She got so drunk, she fell off the back of my bike. I took her inside, and she pissed the bed. Okay, so let me tell you what, this girl's fucking nuts. Look. She likes to be smacked really hard and hit really hard and choked really hard. And all I remember, out of the whole time we're banging and shit, I had her beat up because she likes to fight me, you know, and she wanted to fight me. And I just started getting into fighting with girls because something about holding them down, making them do exactly what you want, and they can't do anything about it started to turn me on. So what you do, all right? The girl's on her back and she's trying to fight you. Like saying, no, no. So of course, she closes her legs like this and tries to lock them. So what's the first thing you do? Well, you pick both her feet up and prop them up on the shoulders, just like this. So then you go to slide it in. Well, then she automatically wants to pick her butt up and go at a straight angle, but it's an upward angle. So this is what you do. Take your thumb or your fingers like this and you push down on your stomach come around, push down while the feet are here. She buckles. Now you got one leg. You shove your head between the calves. Not the thighs, because she can choke you out. The calves. The calves can't choke you out. Then, then the shoulder, the both legs are on, you reach up and you grab her fucking hair and you pull really hard. Really hard. But make sure your arm is underneath her arm while you're grabbing the hair so she can't reach down because your arm is blocking her from reaching down to stop it. Okay, so when you pull really hard, she just totally forgets about the legs, and she goes, ow, like that. At that time, is her weakest. That's when you can get the other leg, right? And then that's when you jam up with the fucking right hand, and you grab the other side of the hair. And then you can shove your shoulders through here, you know, you come through at an angle like that. You shove your shoulders through the legs, so now the legs are split at your shoulders. 
But at this point, you've already got her leg so fucking bent up on her chest that she can't do anything about it. Now, whenever you go to jam it in, this is the hard part. <laughs> you don't know what coal it's going to go into. But with this specific girl, I did get it in the tank, and I was tearing it up, you know, because I was a little buzzed, but not that much. And I was ripping it and ripping it and ripping it, and then I pulled out, and I went, BAM! And it was a wrong hole. <laughs> well, you know me. I'm an asshole, and she likes it in the butt anyway. So I just kept on doing it. I'm just even harder now. Just, bam, bam. After I was done, I looked down at the blood all over my fucking sheets. <laughs> Boom, zinger. Strickland here. This is how you gotta get prepared. You know, tuck it in at first, show up, let everyone know you're a little bit professional. You know, you walk in, you dress a little nice, you wear the bright red shirt, you stick out in the crowd, especially if you're a little bit buff, it'll work out for you. It uh, I beats all those skinny little fucks that are wiggers with their old flat caps and shit. Anyways, after that, what you do is you unbutton the shirt. You've got the black white beater underneath, of course. And then you just sort of kind of leave it unbuttoned and untucked all night. And uh, that just lets everyone know you're down to fuck. And uh, most of the girls will sit there and accept that. I don't know why. I'm thinking of nothing but girls right now. Oh, wait. We're going out to a club with like seven of them. Okay, now I understand why. <laughs> that makes sense. <clears throat> see, this is the fucked up part. Is y'all all are like, oh my god, he's going out with seven girls? I can't wait to see this. Well, I don't put my personal life basically on YouTube. Like the girls and shit. That's because they're all ugly and you don't get any. Yeah, okay, you can't keep thinking that. <laughs> Maybe, uh, and see, I already know what people were thinking before you even fucking say it. But maybe you might take a couple of snapshot pictures, you know. Said, no, this is my girlfriend and all that like that. And it'll be all right. We'll prove everyone, hey, that happens. But as far as, like, footage of my real life. Man, okay, things. so last night got a little crazy. Uh, there's this girl. I don't remember her name. I guess it's my uh, vlog. I think it's, like, the 19th. I'm not sure. So, uh, get to the bar and everything, and you get used to like five dollars, and then you get free drinks for the rest of the night. So, I uh, get to the bar and start drinking heavily and messing around and acting a damn fool. And, um, apparently, bump into this girl, and somehow or another, end up sweet talking her. and you know, making out for like an hour or so and nothing's really happening so I'm getting a little too drunk so I just write my number on a napkin give that to her and then I leave and go pass out in my car and went to Burger King after I got done with Burger King I had a large croissant with extra meat and then I also had <clears throat> some a large hash browns and then there's this one guy who also was hung over and he paid me some money and I went to take him home and I took him home and came back and then I went to UWF checked on my transcript because I'm be coming here in August to go to school and uh, after I did that I went to labor ready picked up a check and now I'm back here because I found this nice shady tree and I'm going to take a nap.